hello everyone welcome to next training video tutorial and in this session we are going to have a look at IntelliJ IDA hack part 2 uh, if you have not seen the hack 1 video then you can watch this either before this video or after this as there is no relation between these two videos that they can be watched in any order so let's see what we are going to have a look at in this session so you would see something called presentation mode plugin then you will see double shift search search on class names recent files project pan shortcuts auto scrolling from source how we can move line or lines uh, in a class and then we would turn off the presentation mode so let me begin with the presentation mode plugin so here i have intellij and uh, this is a plugin which helps uh, highlight the commands which I'm going to use here on Mac as well as corresponding shortcuts on Windows. For example, we had seen earlier that we can use command shift A to search anything in IntelliJ. So if I do command shift A, uh, it goes, control goes to action. And if you look the bottom of the page, when I hit command shift A, it highlights find action, which is command shift A on Mac and well, control shift A on Windows and Linux and here, I can search plugin and one of the plugin is presentation mode plugin so I will do command shift a plugin and I bring control to plugins I hit enter and then I can search the plugins here I have already installed the uh, presentation mode plugins so I should have it uh, here here presentation assistant so as soon as I you know hit any of the shortcut you would see this on the bottom of uh, the screen now let's see double shift search. So if you want to search anywhere on the IntelliJ, then there's a shortcut for this. You have to hit shift twice. So if I hit shift twice, you see search anywhere and control goes to command shift A screen. Uh, but this time it is on the all tab. And you know, here I can start typing whatever I want. For example, I can see a class back to basics. And if I wanted to search this, I could start typing back to basics and it would start listing everything which begins with back very 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 useful shortcut double shift a to search anywhere now let's let's uh, see how we can search the class name so for example assume we want to search selenium with java 8 ses session 6 so i can again hit two times shift and then i can start typing selenium and you know i would have options to pick up from selenium with java 8 session 2 3 4 and so on what we can also do is instead of writing entire name of the class we can write just first letter of each new word so i can write s w j s so it would be something like s w j s and you see it starts highlighting those files here are the classes which have got uh letters s w j s in it so you don't have to type the entire class name if you remember the first letters the camel case ones uh, then you can just start typing them and intellij will bring them up we also don't have to remember the entire class name for example if i want to search you know all of the classes which have got word selenium with java then i can just do selenium with and i can just type a star and it will bring everything which has selenium with in it or i can extend it with java or i can just do j or let's see what happens if i remove selenium yeah, it still searches every class which has got with which has got word with j and anything after that i can in fact remember the star and yeah the search still works so if you just remember some pattern on the class name you can also search using just some words or first letters and yeah not only this uh, what we can also do is we can go to a specific line number in the class so i will do double chip again i will say yeah for example i want to go to this class then i will say Oh, not like this um, so I will say selenium SWJS SWJS and I will say colon 50 and for example I want to go to fourth class so what it would do is it would bring control to the third file here and the line number 50 would be where I would find my control at so if I hit enter you will see the control is on line number 50 and on the class selenium with java 8 session 4. now not only um, this search not only works for class 
but also works for the directories. So I would bring the search anywhere again, double shift, and I can start typing. For example, we know with Maven or the Gradle, the common structure is SRC main, Java, SRC test Java, and resources. So if I want to search resources, I can just type resources and you know it will start searching within the source. Uh, so you see when I hit enter the control on the resource, control has gone to the resource and here I see I have a couple of files. Anyway, let me minimize this. You should try to use mouse as less as possible and I try to do this too. However, due to bad habits of working with mouse with so many years, it's quite you know, I have gotten quite accustomed to using mouse, but I try to minimize it as much as possible. So the operation which I did before uh, to bring up the project uh, or to close the project, I use mouse. We don't have to do that. We can use command one. So if I hit command one, you see command one here and alt one for windows, then it will bring the project pan. And instead of closing it with the minimize, I can again hit command one and the project pan is gone. So entire area, which is important for us is visible on the screen and it is not cluttered with the side windows like oops i closed the intellij <laughs> let me bring it again command q was the command to close uh, intellij and command q also works on uh, many of the other applications so i'm sorry i have to launch the project again and uh, it should uh, be there soon yeah it's right there so we were using command one to open the project pan and we use command one again to highlight the pan so that we have the clear screen available to us. Let's see what else we can see. Command E, command E is another useful command which is used to show the recent files. So I, if I hit command E, I would see the files which were, you know, I used off late and then I can bring control to any of them and just hit enter and it will open those files. We have already seen opening project pan using command one, com command plus one, and now let's see how we can create new files. So what I used to do earlier is I would, you know, bring my mouse on project, and if I want to create a file under class file under, for example, driver setup, I would go here and then I would right click on it and I will say new and then Java class and type the name and okay and so on. But this this is very laborious. We don't have to do this. So first thing. Uh, let's bring control outside. So the control is here, not on the project. And yep. So the project pan is gone, and now assume that we want to create a new class file. So first we bring the project pan, so command one. And now let's assume that we want to create a file under data object. So bring the control here and then hit command N. Uh, or this might be control N in case of Windows, I suppose, and then you know just select whatever you want to create, which may be a package or a Java class. Once again, hit Command N, which might be control N for Windows, and create Java class or whichever file you want to create. Next, uh, we will see auto scroll from source. This is one important feature I use. Uh, you know, if you have a project you've been working for quite many months, uh, it would be a huge project with lots of directories and it might become difficult to figure out under which package you have got a specific class. So what I do is I check something called auto scroll from source. So for example, right now control is on, hmm. let's say Selenium 8 with Java 6 session. Let me close everything else. Oops, I close everything. This is not your want. So I would open here yeah, first file. So now I want to figure out where this file lies in the project pan. And to be able to do this, what we can have, we can have auto scroll from source checked. So as soon as control comes to a class, it will highlight its location on the project pan. So right now it is under web directory. Uh, for example, if I open any other file, uh, let me do command E and say we go to Mm, we don't want to go here, yeah. Say stream miscellaneous 2. As soon as I open this, the control highlights on the project pan where the stream miscellaneous 2 is available under the project. Very simple and very useful operation to highlight the location of a file on the project. I would disable it for now. It might be a bit distracting. So I would close the project pan again. 
using command one done now let's see how we can copy one or more lines without using cut and paste so how i or many of us would do in past is for example if you want to move these two lines we will do command x which is going to remove them and then we will go somewhere else and you know wherever you want to paste this we will hit enter and do command v done but this is again not uh, a very uh, productive ways of doing this uh, what else we can do is uh, we can select the lines uh, whichever we want to place to a different place for example I'm using here shift arrow so I select these two lines and then what you can do is you select option shift down or up arrow key so if I do option shift down arrow key then it will bring it down one line you see this has started going down and you see this is shift alt down in case of windows and it is option arrow down in case of mac so if i want to bring these lines here i can for example keep them here that's all so my control has reached uh, the lines have reached wherever i want to keep them i would uh, bring them back for now as my previous session videos would be screwed for anyone who is trying to use them so in the similar way if you want to bring them up again shift and up or down arrow key to select the line for example i want to bring this line up so i have selected this line and then i would do option shift arrow in case of mac and it is going to be alt shift up uh, in case of windows so, so you see one line is going up almost looks like a magic anyways uh, let me reword this so we have the previous state of the file so do not uh, use command x command v use option shift arrow up or down or in case of uh, windows i think it is alt up uh, arrows up or down alt shift sorry alt shift uh, and arrows up or down okay now let's see what we have next uh, we have seen this option as well yeah turning off the presentation mode so uh, Presentation mode uh, can be easily turned off from uh, this was not presentation mode. Uh, actually, okay, I I told a wrong name for the plugin. This is this is presentation mode plugin. Okay, then I should be able to turn it off. Um, hmm. Let's see how I can turn it off. Okay, so we don't remember this option. Or maybe I have gotten the wrong name. So what we would do again, we would do command shift A. And now I will start searching presentation mode if this is the right name. Enter presentation mode. Okay, so this was not right mode. This was not right name. Actually, the plugin is called presentation assistant and not presentation mode. I will show you what is presentation mode, but uh, uh, let me first rectify the mistake I made earlier the, the name of the plugin is presentation assistant and it is turned on now So I have turned it off now and if I do any of the operation like I bring the project pen It still highlights this. Okay. Ah, I need to restart the IntelliJ. Okay, so okay, I'm not going to restart the IntelliJ But if you want to turn off the presentation assistant, then you can turn it off using the action I just showed you and what is the presentation mode actually presentation mode is used uh, to you know bring the IntelliJ to the presentation mode status where and you don't have any of these clutters here 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 uh, let's bring it to presentation mode and like let me show it to you so i will say yeah enter presentation mode now you see only my class is highlighted and every toolbar everything else is gone um, okay i don't know how to exit this so i will again bring command shift a and I would say exit presentation mode. So this is pre pre presentation mode. And the plugin which I was using is, is not presentation mode, is it, it is presentation assistant. Sorry for the mistake. Um, what else? Yeah, this, this is all for this small session and uh, I hope you learned something new and if so then please hit the like button and stay safe. See you on the next session. Bye-bye.